This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Special rules exist where you cease to trade as a limited company. And the carry back period that we've talked about before is extended to 36 months for losses that are incurred in the 12 months prior to the cessation of trade. It's against total profit before QCDs and it's on a last in first out. So it's one, two, th three and three A. <laughs> Because this is a we're allowed to carry back so it's the last in first out rather than first in first out so we have an example here of a company that ceased to trade had the following results for the five accounting periods up to the 31st of march 2023 when they ceased you notice we've got years across the top pro forma down the side so what i want you to do now is i want you to pause this recording this lecture and I want you to set up the pro forma same process as before with the years across the top the pro forma down the side and I want you to copy as much as you can from the question into your answer okay so pause me now okay and then we'll get started with the answer so when you set up the answer for this it should look like that. I do hope you paused it and you had to go for yourself. So we put the years across the top and we put the pro forma down the side. We copied all of those figures. We copied all of those figures and we copied all of those figures and then we subtotaled it to our total profits. So you will have got to that point with your copying exercise, hopefully. You will then also, I do hope you did, have a go. You'll never know whether you know it until you have a go. All right, so you will have set that up and copied that in. Well done. Okay, now, do you remember what we do next? We stop, we breathe, we think. Okay, so we have to do, in order to have a carry back, first, we must do a current period claim. Now these are QCDs. You can write in the word wasted or you can write in the word nil, whichever you want. Okay. So having done that, we then deduct that from here and add it into our current year. So this is our current year. Now we are going to do a carry back, last in, first out. So the first year would be this one. So we're going this way, 34,000. Then we're going that way, 28,000. Now we're going six months, 16,000. At some point along there, it might be worth working out how much you've got left to make sure you don't use too many, because obviously you've only got 97,000. Do a little subtotal to see what's going on. But we can then carry back another six months, because the rules are we can carry back 36 months. So that's 12, that's 12, that's 6, and then we can have another 6 with that one because the rule is 36 months now whatever's left is unrelieved nothing we can do with that put your qcds in if they are unrelieved just make a note of them at the bottom um, there is a loss relief um, claim that you can make for unrelieved uh, charitable donations but it's outside the scope for um, this exam, but it shows that you know what's uh, what's what. Now what happens then, so we've done current year, we've done carry back, we've done um, carry back when you cease to trade, that 36 months. What happens if you carry forward? So if any loss remains unrelieved after current year, 
for a carry black claim, which is 12 months. Um, then it is carried forward. You may want to carry it forward. That may be the situation that you want to do. Under carry forward, any losses are carried forward to relieve against any part of future total profits different from individuals. No time limit. Okay. You can make partial claims to avoid waiting your QCDs. And you must make a claim within two years of which the loss is relieved. So we have example number five. The following results started to trade 1st of April 2019. So this is the first set of accounts. Doing very well. Second set, mm, not so well. Third set, oof, we've made a loss. Fourth set, we're now back in a profit situation. Property income and interest receivable and some QCDs. I'm going to ask you again. It's time to pause the recording. Pause me. Go and set it all up. Years across the top. Pro forma down the side. Copy the questions. Okay, go ahead and pause. Well done. So you paused and you had a go. I'm proud of you. All right, let's look at what the model answer will look like. Your answer should look like this. You should have the years across the top, the pro forma down the side, and you've done to this point because you've copied all of that from the question and you've earned yourself ooh, probably one and a half marks there. You've set up your loss memorandum and you've got half a mark for putting that into your pro forma. You've got three, two marks. Well done. Okay. Remember what we do next? We stop and we breathe. Okay, we stop and we breathe. Now, we've got several options here. We've got 43,000. Now, in order to do a carry back claim, which is where we need to go because we have more than enough losses, we don't want to carry them forward yet because there isn't enough to relieve all of it. So let's make the most of it. So this question kind of brings all of it together and you've got to kind of make some thought processes here. 43,000, if I carry it forward, I still have extra losses that are unrelieved. They've still got to be now carried forward because once you carry forward, you can't go back again, which means we're not going to get relief until 2024. And we don't really want that. So in order to pay no tax in 2022, we'll do a current year claim and then a carry back claim and get relief and a refund for the previous years and then the balance we will carry forward as much as we can. So we're going to do firstly a current year current year relief for this year end because you must do one of those before you do the carry back relief. Now check is it 12 months? Tick yes it is therefore we can carry back 12 months and fully relieve this so we'll get a refund here and we pay no tax here, which will all help the company. Now, we've done a subtotal here because there's only a certain amount left. And we need to know what that amount is before we then carry forward. And then we will carry forward that nine and relieve it against total profits here, which will reduce our profits down to 17. We've got our QCDs. The others are wasted. Make a note of that. You can see that there and there and finalize everything well done we've got to the end of the chapter